welcome back to the channel so in today's video i am at the fitzroy gardens it's very noisy i hope you guys can hear me um so i'm here to do sort of like a travel tips video i think that video is going to be up before this video to be completely honest um because i kind of wanted like i said i want this to be like behind the scenes um so i am trying to showcase a couple of hidden gems here in Melbourne probably not the place that most people would recommend when they say like visit Melbourne um, so I'm starting it off here at Fitzroy Gardens and um, I wanted to show off the conservatory which is just behind me but it's currently closed um, for renovation I didn't really see anything online about it but I think maybe because of the pandemic people are just taking advantage of the fact that it's not that busy which is absolutely fine anyway I got a coffee um, on the way in um, I checked out their little cafe called Kari Kari, I think that's how it's pronounced. Um, I'll leave the name on the screen and the link down below. Um, I ordered a soy, no, I ordered an almond cappuccino, which is what I've been trying to drink these days, more almond milk as opposed to normal milk and soy. Um, I read somewhere it's a little bit healthier. But anyway, I'm gonna check out the miniature Tudor um, village that's available here. My gosh, it is noisy here. <laughs> Oh my gosh, guys, I can see it. It's over there in the distance. Let's get closer. It is so cute. I'm also quite glad that there aren't many people out and about because I get an unobstructed view. I'm going to try and show you guys some clips of this place. It's so cute. I've taken so many photos already for Instagram. Um, by the way, if you guys haven't followed me on Instagram yet, um, it's at Mr. Ken Dennis. And if you guys would like to just see like scenic stuff, touristy stuff, um, I've created a separate account. It used to be just like more my personal stuff, but I think I'm going to put a little bit more of like these touristy shots as well, like that kind of stuff. I think that's so cool. Um, it's called Life of Ken. Again, it will be linked down in the description box down below. Oh, such a beautiful day too. The sun is really nice and warm. That's the one thing I really like about Australia. It can be freezing cold, but stand out in the sun and you'll be nice and warm again. Now I have to figure out where I have to go next. Um, yeah. I don't actually have a map, but I probably should have downloaded one. I'm currently very low on data and I don't really want to pay another like $10 for one gig. I'm currently on Optus and I'm not very happy with the service I've got with them. Um, so initially when I signed up with Optus for a postpaid plan, um, I got 30 gigs. Um, so 15 gigs was the plan, but then I got another 15 as a bonus, but they didn't tell me that it had ended. So yeah. I didn't even know that I was running low on data. I've actually put my phone on battery saving mode which also um, saves my phone from like checking apps in the background. So that's one handy tip if you guys are trying to save on data. Okay, this video is probably not going as well as I planned. Um, so we're now at St. Patrick's Cathedral. Um, so there's like this little like garden in there that's really, really pretty. I can't get in. I think it's closed. Um, <laughs> oh, okay, I'm gonna have to come up with other places to recommend for this video. Otherwise, this video is going to be a complete and utter fail. Um, so now I'm making my way to the Carlton Gardens, um, which is, I th I'd like to say, a 10-15 minute walk away from um, the Fitzroy Gardens so I think that will do um, and then I might check out Chinatown and then grab some bubble tea because why the hell not I'm out and about might as well get some bubble tea on the plus side of my plans being a little bit derailed I'm walking past some of the old hospitals that I used to work at so um, if you guys don't know I am a nurse um, I used to work as an agency nurse so I was pretty much like a temp um, like I worked for a temp agency and whenever a hospital needed a nurse um, they'd ring me um, and I used to work at this one the Royal um, Royal Victorian Eye and Ear Hospital I, I really liked working there. It was so chilled, so easy. Staff were super friendly. And then now we're walking past um, two of the St. Vincent's hospitals. And um, there's a private one and a public one. I used to do more of the public hospital shifts, but I also worked at the private one as well. 
Um, yeah, there's just so many hospitals around here. It's bringing back memories. Also, we're going to be passing um, the first backpacker place that I stayed at here in Melbourne when I first visited with a couple of friends when I was still in uni. Okay, so this is um, the backpacker place that I stayed at. I remember, I think I was at that window over there in the middle and oh my god. It didn't have any um, bars or anything and I nearly fell out the window because I tend to roll over in my sleep. <laughs> Okay, so I have been walking pretty much non-stop for the last two hours. So I've just sat down, um, I'm just on one of these. I don't even know what this is called. Um, but I'm just in front of the Royal Exhibition Building and I've just read a little bit of blurb information about the building as well that was going to go into the main video. Um, and next I'm going to go check out the museum and then I think after this I'm going to head straight towards Chinatown. It is absolutely freezing in the shade, in the sun, it is so nice and warm. <sighs> anyway, I'm, I'm going to go to Chinatown, I'm going to go to Gotcha Tea. Um, I did message them and asking them if I can vlog in their store, because why not? Um, and they said yes, so can't wait, because that place is so Instagram worthy. And then I'm also going to go check out um, some of the Asian supermarkets for some Ichiran ramen noodles. And I'm walking past a couple of these restaurants and it's really nice to see that some of the restaurants are back open. I think at the moment they can only have a certain number of people depending on how big their restaurant is, which is still good. Um, I think, however, a majority of them are still just doing takeaway. Um, yeah, I think there's like a lot of rules and rules. <laughs> there's a lot of rules and regulations as to how many people can be in a certain place and how many how many staff members need to be on um, when they're open. Okay guys, so I'm now in Chinatown and honestly it is so dead in here, it's so quiet. Um, let's go tuck ourselves into this little laneway so I can talk to you guys. It is so quiet, it's so dead quiet. Um, I don't think I've ever really seen Chinatown this quiet. Not even at night, like I have been out here maybe at 1am and this place is like popping. I mean granted there are like a little Granted there are like some clubs and stuff in like these little laneways, but still. Um, oh, by the way, Greek precinct is that way too. But yeah, it's like so... Oh yeah, it's really quiet. I don't... Like, look at that. So dead quiet. Alright guys, I've just ordered a taro milk tea because you guys know I'm obsessed with taro. Uh, so they're currently making it now. This place is so cute. I really wish I could sit down here and like really take photos. Um, but unfortunately, you s unfortunately, I don't think they're allowing people to sit inside just yet, which is absolutely fine. Um, I, oh, this place is so aesthetically pleasing. Okay, I pretty much just demolished that tarot milk too. So good. Anyway, now I'm going to go, I think, to QV. I'm going to go and check out this place called Laguna, which is basically a Asian supermarket. That was the last place I found Ichiran. Also, if you guys have noticed, the audio quality has gone to crap. It's because I have moved on to the G7X. It's just far more or less inconspicuous. Um, and I also feel like I need to invest in a wide angle lens for the M50, just because I feel like the M50 is like that close to my face. Whereas if I pull my hand back, you can see so much more. Um, like I said, I pretty much upgraded to the M50 just because of the audio quality and the fact that you can get different lenses and stuff. And honestly speaking, the quality of the image is so much better. So yeah, definitely let me know if you guys can notice the difference. Otherwise, I'm just going to keep like swapping between the two cameras. Oh my god, this is like a long ass queue. I don't even know what it's for. Oh, actually, I see it now. It's for this place called Matchy Matchy. Must be like the latest, so like trendy food at the moment. Okay, it's a bubble tea place. People go crazy for bubble tea here in the city.
all the migoreng, <laughs> all the different types of migoreng. I am devastated. I walked in there, I tried looking for it, nothing. I asked the staff and they said, sorry, we don't have any at the moment. Which really sucks because this was the only place that had it last time. I don't really feel like going through all the different um, Asian supermarkets to kind of look for it. Because honestly, there's a lot. <laughs> And I'm so done walking because I've been walking pretty much the entire day. There is another Asian supermarket that I'm willing to check out. It's at Melbourne Central. Um, just because it is at Melbourne Central. And then I can just hop on a train and go home. We're back home and ugh, my shoulder really hurts. I had my little bag. I had like a satchel bag um, cross my body and this shoulder now hurts. I feel like I need a Panadol. Um, but anyway, we went to the supermarket, grabbed a couple of things. So I still have heaps of stuff from my last online grocery shop so I thought I would just grab um, things that we really need um, from the supermarket so I'm out of bread so I've been having this Alpine breads lower lower carb um, bread so 78% less carbs um, so compared to like normal loaves of bread this is really good I also got some more eggs because I like omelettes so I was gonna get some almond milk um, but the almond milk that I usually get isn't available so I decided to try this brand instead this is Australia's own organic soy unsweetened and I had a look at this brand's um, like range a lot of their um, milk is like very very low carb which I was very very surprised like, I compared this to other soy brands even unsweetened ones their carb rating was a, li a little bit higher um, whereas this one was so much lower so if you guys are very particular about how much um, carbs you have in a day um, definitely check this brand out because they seem to be really good then I just got some baby spinach um, some milk again for my partner because he doesn't really like any of these sort of stuff um, some cheese um, some bacon so we can have eggs and bacon on the weekend I also got some hash browns in there um, and then got some Napolitan is that how you say it Napolitan ice cream okay I just keep calling it Napoleon ice cream now I've, I think I've been out for at least four or five hours and pretty much majority probably 95% of the time I was walking the only time I really sat down was on the train actually yeah on the train to the city I, I was standing up on the way back um, so I went to um, an Asian supermarket at Melbourne Central I forget the name of the place I keep forgetting the name of the place but it's right next to Coles and um, near the train entrance and stuff um, I couldn't find any Ichiran because I it's just super super popular and uh, I know there's a I know you can order it online like through this app called Easy and it's kind of it's kind of like Uber Eats in the sense that you can order stuff from different shops and stuff like that but the delivery fee to get it delivered to my area was so so extraordinary so it was so so expensive um, I'm not willing to pay like the actual Ichiran packets are already at 40 or 50 dollars depending on where you get them from and then the delivery fee was like 20 dollars and I'm like really not worth it <laughs> to be honest um, I think I'll just wait until I actually um, see it in the stores again um, so I did ask around and um, this store um, the staff are really really friendly and they said that um, you can try out this brand instead um, so it's very similar I actually don't know what brand this is because there's no English okay there's something in well Roman characters um, Marutai there, Marutai noodles. This particular packet is um, the plain tonkatsu flavor. Um, this red one um, is the sesame seed. And then they have the black tonkatsu, which I think is like black garlic. Um, Cause I remember seeing one of the other brands of noodles have this sort of like black oil floating on top. I think it was like a Nissan one that I got from Hong Kong like ages ago. So I'm really excited to prepare that this weekend. Maybe we'll have it for dinner tomorrow. Um, so I've got some pork belly in the freezer. So that's that kind of slice you have there. Pork belly slices. I am going to do some research how um, you're supposed to do it. Because um, I usually just pan fry it. Um, I want to see if there's any other way you can do it so it will taste nicer. Um, I don't have all the other ingredients. Like um, I think that's spring onion. And I'm pretty sure that's some sort of like cabbage. Um, anyway. <laughs> but it's okay. Uh, I only really eat the pork belly. Um, I might put some vegetables in it. I'm not sure what kind though. Um, because I still kind of want to make, I still kind of want it to be like authentic-ish. 
but yeah i think today has been overall a very productive day um again if you guys would like to see um like the final content of like my little travel um, recommendations here in melbourne video definitely check out the video on the screen and i think that's pretty much it for me guys thank you guys so much for watching hopefully guys enjoyed and i will catch you guys in the next vlog bye